The world of artificial intelligence is heating up. Behind the scenes of chatbots like ChatGPT and digital assistants like Alexa is an intense competition between tech giants to develop the most advanced AI chips. These chips are the engines that power our AI-driven future. In this high-stakes game, the American company NVIDIA has dominated the market for years. But competitors are emerging, and Microsoft is reportedly preparing to unveil its own AI chip to take on NVIDIA. Developing an AI like ChatGPT requires training a massive neural network on gigantic datasets over weeks or months of nonstop computing. This is where AI chips come in. For now, much of this AI training relies on NVIDIA's flagship A100 and H100 graphics chips. NVIDIA has spent decades honing its designs to accelerate AI workloads. The results are unmatched, but the costs are sky high. Last year alone, NVIDIA made over $12 billion selling its AI chips. With so much money on the line, you can bet tech companies are scheming for their piece of the pie. Microsoft is reportedly developing an AI chip under the codename Project Athena. Little is publicly known about Athena, but if the rumors are true, it could appear in Microsoft cloud data centers powering Azure AI services and OpenAI. An internal chip would give Microsoft more control over its AI infrastructure and costs. Google, Amazon, Meta, and others are also cooking up their own custom AI silicon. Having your own chip supply reduces reliance on vendors like NVIDIA, and with companies like OpenAI needing thousands of A100 chips just to run a single model, the costs can be eye-watering. Developing a new chip isn't easy, though. Billions have gone into designing and manufacturing advanced processors over the years. Most promising is when big tech's ample resources meet internal chip design expertise. But doing so in-house is a privilege only giants can afford. To understand the technology inside these chips, we must shrink down smaller than a speck of dust. Modern processors like NVIDIA's are packed with billions of microscopic transistors etched into silicon. Arranged into logical gates and memory, these transistors can represent data and perform logical operations. By optimizing the arrangement and connection of transistors, chip architects tailor them for tasks like AI. One technique used is parallel processing. By dividing a workload across many small processing units inside a chip, operations happen simultaneously. Matrix math underpins much of deep learning AI. With parallel processors, this can be massively accelerated. More transistors also allow more data to be stored directly on the chip, reducing latency. Clever design coupled with advanced manufacturing allows huge transistor density. NVIDIA's flagship H100 packs over 80 billion transistors, each minuscule. Packed together densely, they provide colossal processing power from a chip the size of a postage stamp. Leading edge manufacturing is required, with extremely precise lithography printing features just billionths of a meter wide. Dominating this advanced manufacturing is Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, or TSMC. With factories churning out chips for everyone from Apple to NVIDIA, TSMC is the world's top contract chip maker. Even rivals like Microsoft and Google rely on TSMC to fabricate their designs. But as geopolitics heat up, there are questions over TSMC's future capacity for American companies as China tries to exert influence over Taiwan. The upshot is that advanced AI chips require both bleeding-edge design and manufacturing. Right now, NVIDIA leads in design and TSMC in manufacturing. But industry shifts can happen quickly. If Microsoft pulls off Athena, delivers compelling performance per dollar, and moves Azure Cloud to its own silicon, it could dethrone NVIDIA's dominance. But NVIDIA won't vanish overnight. This is a long game, with many fierce rounds ahead. AI chips are just getting started transforming tech as we know it. NVIDIA may dominate today, but they aren't the only AI chip game in town. Major tech firms like Google, Amazon, and Meta are cooking up their own custom silicon to power internal AI needs. Take Google. Their tensor processing units, or TPUs, have been accelerating AI workloads since 2015. Spanning from data centers to smartphones, Google TPUs underscore how custom chips can provide optimization and cost savings. Their latest TPU V4 even incorporates neuron-like sparsity to improve efficiency. Other American tech giants also utilize homegrown AI chips, Amazon's Inferentia for inference jobs and Trainium for model training. Meta's AI Research Supercluster Supercomputer combines Meta and NVIDIA chips for AI that can learn using trillions of examples. Apple works with TSMC to craft iPhone chips tailored for Apple's machine learning tasks. 
Make no mistake though, NVIDIA still leads in standalone, general-purpose graphics chips. But interest is growing for alternative AI hardware, even from scrappy startups. One example is Cerebra Systems, a California-based startup challenger. While NVIDIA chops up processing into thousands of small cores, Cerebras takes the opposite approach with its massive wafer scale engine processing square meters of silicon. Can a giant chip beat small chips working in parallel? The jury is still out, but with $1.5 billion in funding, Cerebras is gaining attention. Another startup preparing to shake up the AI chip industry is Samba Nova Systems. They too have an unconventional architecture and unique technologies they believe will best optimize AI workloads. With over $1 billion in funding and partnerships with enterprises, Samba Nova is definitely one to watch. The point is that young companies aren't afraid to take different approaches and challenge incumbents. Even if they can't completely dethrone NVIDIA today, it keeps the industry moving forward. But perhaps no one is gunning for NVIDIA's position harder than China. The urgency stems from China's reliance on foreign imports for advanced technologies like AI chips. Chinese tech giants and the government are heavily investing in domestic chip production and design capabilities. The goal is for China to become largely self-sufficient, producing homegrown chips capable of competing with American ones. But getting there won't be easy. Advanced chip fabrication relies on specialized equipment from just a handful of suppliers, all American or European. The U.S. has also enacted export controls to block the supply of advanced chips and tools to China. These restrictions threaten to thwart China's self-sufficiency ambitions. As geopolitical and trade winds shift, the industry could see more reliance on the U.S. and allies for critical elements of the chip supply chain. Companies like NVIDIA and TSMC with proprietary technologies and established capacity could benefit from this balkanization. Lastly, another factor shaping the AI chip wars is the rise of new specialized hardware for edge computing. Rather than processing at data centers, edge chips allow devices to run AI locally. Key innovators here include Intel and IBM who are developing neuromorphic architectures. These chips mimic the network structure of biological neurons and synapses, processing in parallel. This can enable hugely efficient inference for applications like self-driving cars that must react in real time. It's an exciting time with so much disruption swirling in AI hardware. But with the landscape evolving quickly, only time will tell who ends up on top when the dust settles. One thing is for sure, it will require masterful engineering across both architecture and manufacturing. Game on, and that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell here at AI Explore to catch all our future AI investing and product analyses.